Hi, welcome back to Midi Explores and today we're at Woodford Hulse Station on the Great Central Railway. So what we're going to do is have a look around the site, see what we can find and record it for all you all. So uh, let's see what's there. That's Woodford Hulse. So look at this, this is absolutely incredible. Massive. So basically got the two tracks are represented by the two bridges. So I think this would be south and that would be north. But Either way, look at that brickwork again, absolutely incredible. It's absolutely lovely under here. You know, amazing condition. And then you went up to the station through this doorway, which has been bricked up. You can see some hangers there. I'm not sure if they were gates or whatever. Oh, wow. It really is beautiful. Yeah, look up there, look at this. So you went up the stairs onto the platform. So you the island platform between the two tracks. I've just put my hand in there and you can't get in. I thought it was a way of looking in, but it isn't. And we got, so this is the other track. Coming out here. And we turn round and we can see the uh, actual station so there we go look at that so we've got the blue brick that we see now these walls are absolutely enormous I can't believe how high that is it must be 40 or 50, about 40 feet up you can see the uh, the bridge there Look at that absolutely massive bridge that, that, that went on either side of the station. So they formed the station, if you like. So we'll have a look around, see if we can get up there and have a look. Perhaps it might be worth a try. That's just stunning. Oh, I'm just going to record this brickwork in here. Let's look at this brickwork. It's absolutely lovely. This is how you built a station back in the day. I'm trying to think how many bricks are in this. That is just magnificent. Look at that, absolutely brilliant. I love that. Really in good condition as well. It's amazingly solid. Look at that, brilliant. And back out this side again. We got the. Uh, going back down the road. Absolutely gorgeous. That is some bit of architecture right there. That's one of my favourites. I absolutely love that. Absolutely superb. Right. Let's see what else we can find. Right. So this is the area around the station. So the station's off to our left. And they've turned into the great central woodland. So I'm going to have a quick look up here. Because you can still see the embankment here that leads into the station. So the station's off to our left, like I say here. So I'm going to walk up in here a little bit and have a see what we can find. This might be right, so we're at the top of the uh, embankment now. So the station was over here. There's a memorial or something there. So this is track bed here. And it goes through the woods there to Charwelton, which is where we've just come from. So uh, where we had mission failed, which we'll go back there at a later date. So let's have a look here. So we've got the memorial glade. This is very nice. So there's something here about the railways, I think. Let's see what we can see. Oh, it's a proper memorial garden. So there you go. So that, that is literally through there and you're on the station platform. So the platform's probably ran down here. Um, we'll have a look at that in a moment. See if we can get through there at all. Let's just pan around here because this looks really lovely. It's a Coca-Cola bottle, which is... Uh, Stand there, where we go. In memory of 
GCI employees who gave their lives for their country. Oh wow. There we go, so I'll video that, so if you want to pause it and read that you can. That is amazing. And then Coke bottle. Lest we forget, certainly. Thank you. And then got a ball, a rock here, which is I say memorial, so it's a memorial. So it's remembering those of the parish railway and from nearby. Excellent. This is quite nice up here. Quite well kept. Right, so what we're going to do is have a look through the bushes there to see if we can see anything left of the railway. So let's uh, see if we can find anything. Wow, this is a bit bleak. Oh, it's fenced off. So, wow, that's impassable. That's impassable if I ever saw it. So the station was literally there. It was right in front of us. I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all, really. Wow, that is something. Oh, that's a shame. If they were cut back a bit, we'd be able to see in there. But, um, never mind. So again, you can see the embankment this side. So of course, this is all trap bed here. Let's see if uh, nothing around there, I don't think. Pringles tube. Oh, there we go, you can see. So the station was literally right in front of us here. A real shame there's nothing really left oh well right so this is on top of the track now so the station the bridge is just over there we've come up here it's now a timber yard and some sort of storage depot so the track would have come at the side of us here around that way and then we were right through there right through the timber yard and then there's a bridge at the other end I say there's nothing left of it now it's all gone there we go. So we are now looking back, and so um, Woodford Hulse Station is there, just in those trees, it would have been. So the GC would have come straight underneath us, going south. And now the Stratford and Midland Junction Railway also came along, see that tree line there? That was where that actually joined on there, and it formed like a triangle, so when you go, if we look this way and look south, you can really see the line here. Look at that. But then the Stratford and Midland Junction Railway also joined down here. I'll put a diagram on the screen to really explain it, but we're stood right in the middle of it. Now this bridge we're stood on is absolutely enormous. So I'm gonna try it and get a view of it from down there. It's a really big bridge. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oops, don't get run over. So as you can see, you see the, the Great Central track bed there. Lovely big cutting right down the middle. And then this brickwork, same as what we've seen everywhere. Uh, you know, standard blue bricks. And there we have it. That's that. West Bromwich. Joseph Hambly. West Bromwich. Look at those, solid as the date was made. That's incredible condition. And then we go all the way back round there. Oops, fall off the curb again. I was saying that's going back towards the station over there. So look at that, beautiful. Right. So we go, this is the bridge. Um, he says, there we go. So as you see, oh, the tracks would have come through those middle two. Beautiful bridge. Obviously now used for storage or something. Absolute belter. Great condition as well. 
That is lovely. Right, so there we go. That was our expedition around Woodford Hulse Station and some of the network around it. Probably going to do some more work on that because there's loads to see around here. Uh, but we're going to come back in the winter when we can actually walk on them because everything is massively overgrown. So once again, thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. Loads of new subscribers and welcome to you all. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.